my name is Marlena Faring, and I'd like to share with you my experience in dealing with Minnesota's corrupt government and judicial system. I wrote a documentary to expose this entitled Marlena's Journal, Telling It Like It Is in Minnesota, Not So Nice. My story tells of the price that I paid as a female general contractor attempting to uphold fair housing laws in Minnesota. My licenses as a general contractor and real estate broker demand I uphold fair housing laws, yet that is exactly why I was incarcerated by a, racial, by a racist and bigoted judge. The law should have protected me. It did not. I took this all the way up to the U.S. Attorney General's office, only to be told he can't help me either, not because of a question of validity of my allegations, but that they can't prosecute judges. In other words, in this country, under the color of law, judges can break the law with impunity. The U.S. Constitution is a birthright of every American, yet I had no rights because it was government that was the perpetrator. I was denied a right to vote, a right to free speech, a right to due process, a right to make a living, and a right to protective order when I was viciously attacked by a government official. Why? Because I blew the whistle on government corruption and their efforts to facilitate gender and racial discrimination. The courts at both the state and federal level were used as political retribution against me to confiscate all my land holdings and assets, including my home, totaling millions of dollars. These judges allowed individuals with connections to the city to bring bogus and fabricated lawsuits against me with no evidence or jurisdictional mandate to do so. It was a political process guised as a judicial process to evict blacks and confiscate my assets for defending them from government sanctioned discrimination. Essentially what these judges did was not only erased evidence but changed evidence, therefore suborning perjury, aiding and abetting felony theft by fraud, and false pretenses. And we call them honorable. I ask you what's honorable about a judge dressed in a black robe, conducting himself as a criminal. I was used as a scapegoat to evidence to anyone who dares to expose human rights violations when it's done at the hands of the government. As a patriotic American, I feel it is my duty to take a stand and speak out. Silence and indifference has already fed this travesty far too long. In writing this documentary, it's certainly not meant as an attack on America, but rather to expose the bums that we have put in office, including judges. This documentary is based on true events that I have documented for 15 years with correspondence, tape recordings, and court case files. And because this story is so unbelievable, I have included affidavits of third parties who gave sworn statements as to what they witnessed and heard. You'll not finish this book unaffected and asking, is this really the freedom and democracy that our young men and women lay down their lives to protect? I think not. You may purchase this book at Ex Libris Publishing, Barnes & Noble, Borders and & Amazon. All proceeds will be donated to charities and nonprofits. Thank you so much for listening and God bless.